Hello everyone, this is Anson from AnsonAlex.com and I've got a quick update for you today. I actually downloaded iOS 7 last night for my iPhone 5. That's right, it's available for everybody to download whether you've got an iPhone 4, 4S, 5, 5C, 5S, iPad 2, iPad with Retina, iPod Touch, 4th generation, might be a few more, but any of those products are available to download iOS 7. And one of the new features that I discovered is that closing apps is a little bit different in iOS 7. So I'm going to show you how that works today. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at my phone. Here we are, and I'm just going to stand up here so we can see this a little better. I'm at my home screen, so I'm just gonna unlock my phone. You can see that nice little transition into iOS 7. Now to close apps on iOS 7, it actually starts the same way. So if we double click the home button, it pulls up a list of all of our running apps. Looks a little bit different. We actually have a preview of that app now and we can see the app icon down at the bottom. And we used to, in iOS 6, to close apps, we would touch and hold on that app, little red X would come up and then we would close it out. In iOS 7, you don't have to touch and hold. All you have to do is slide up on that particular app and it closes it. So CNN is closed. So it actually saves a step. To go from our home screen to closing apps, in iOS 6, it used to be double click, hold, hit the X. Now it's just double click and swipe up and it's closed. This is also a great way to navigate between apps. So if I go to my iTunes app, just by clicking on it, then let's say I wanna go back to my clock, I can double click, go right back to my clock, I can double click again, I can close out iTunes and go to my settings. Um, so it just makes it a little bit quicker here in iOS 7. It's a little smoother, a little more intuitive and you've got less clicks. So I hope this video helped everyone. If it did, I would really appreciate a thumbs up here on YouTube. And if you wanna see more technology tips and tutorials, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. That's all I have for you today. This is Anson from AnsonAlex.com.